Folks, in this video, I try to tackle a problem that I've had for a little while now. Here's the scenario where you want to schedule a Zoom meeting that meets every Monday, Wednesday at 10 a.m. and then every Friday at 3 p.m. So the issue is, is that you've got, um, you don't have a pattern throughout the week, a pattern of times throughout the week. Zoom has plenty of ways of scheduling if there is a pattern of times uh, throughout the week or every other week, etc. So there's lots of ways you could do that. But this scenario is slightly different where you've got a 10 a.m. meeting and a 3 p.m. meeting and your goal is to have a single Zoom link and password for all of these meetings. So I'm going to discuss uh, how we're going to tackle that. Now there is another workaround for this and that is to simply use your personal meeting ID. The problem that I found with that is that it means that any other meeting that you schedule will have the same ID and the same password and that might not be what you want to do. Uh, so here's a different workaround, um, so a few caveats. This workaround assumes that you're going to be scheduling everything using some external calendar, such as Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar, and not utilizing the calendar built inside of Zoom. Um, you can still use the calendar inside of Zoom, but it wouldn't be your primary source of knowing when you have Zoom meetings coming up. So I'm assuming that you're going to use something like Outlook. And the other issue is, is that I do not believe that this works for a web web-based platform of Outlook such as our OWA. Instead it assumes that you've got some application ver version of Outlook or some file like uh, Microsoft Office on your computer uh, that you're utilizing for Outlook. So at this point if the video doesn't seem like it's for you I'd go ahead and just uh, exit it. Uh, but for those of you for, for which these scenarios apply let's go ahead and continue on. So I'm going to go ahead and go to zoom.com I've created, I've already got my account and everything, so I'll click on my account. I'm already logged in uh, and entered the password, so when I click on it, it'll take me straight to my account. Otherwise, you'd give your password and log in. So I'm assuming you have a little bit of uh, familiarity with Zoom as far as scheduling meetings. So what I, I just want to focus in on our particular problem. So I click on meetings, and I'm going to go to schedule a meeting. So we'll click schedule a meeting. We'll call it, um, let's just call it test meeting. And normally what we would then do is we'd worry about when we want to schedule this meeting, what times, which days, etc. I'm just going to go ahead now and click on recurring meeting. And you may have done this before if you had a pattern meeting within a week or something like that. But I'm going to click no fixed time and that's the part that's a little bit different. Now I can go ahead and change the password. So let me make it sample. Uh, for a sample password here. You could turn on and off the waiting room. Now you can do all of the other Zoom features that you may wish to do as far as establishing your meeting. I'm going to go ahead and click Save now. And it's created the meeting that we want. Let's just double check. There's the password that we've got. Here's the test meeting. And here is the unique link for this test meeting. So notice we haven't, if I go to my meetings, I haven't actually created a meeting for that in my list of Zoom meetings. Let's go back to the uh, previous page. Instead, I've just got this sort of floating meeting. What I'm going to do now is, since I'm doing all this in Outlook, I'm going to click this link here, which uh, creates a little um, uh, script that can then be uploaded into your Outlook calendar. So I'll click that, and it downloads. You can see down here, just in my web browser, it downloaded that script. We'll go ahead and click on that. And it pulls up an Outlook calendar item. Let me, let me sort of make that a more meaningful size. Um, and you can see it's, it's sort of defaulting to uh, the current time that I'm creating this video. What I can now do, let's go ahead and schedule this meeting way out in the future uh, so it doesn't uh, interfere with other items on my calendar. I'm going to go ahead and put it at Monday uh, on June 14th. And we said that we wanted this to occur, I believe we said 10 a.m. And we want it to occur Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 a.m. So now we'll go ahead and click the recurrence button of Outlook and we select Mondays and Wednesdays 10 to 11 a.m. and so now we've got this meeting created. Folks, I don't believe after I set the uh, time for this meeting, set the recurrence, I don't believe I hit save and close. So I click save and close and notice that now in Outlook it has created that test meeting. It's, uh, let's see if we go to the previous week, it hasn't started for this week, it has started for the week of uh, 
um, June 14th, and it has all subsequent meetings. That gave us the Monday-Wednesday part. But remember, the whole goal was to also have some other time during the week for this meeting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to this window in Zoom, back to where I down, and I'm going to go ahead and re-download this. You actually could just reopen the file, but I'm going to click this one more time. It went ahead and re-downloaded that script right here. I'll click on that. It again pulls this, this same uh, Outlook uh, calendar, um, cre you know, the new appointment uh, window in Outlook. It's still trying to set for the current time and date. And, but notice that it has the same link and it has the same password. So now what I can do here is I can go ahead and schedule this for our Friday meeting, the one that we said would occur Fridays at 3 p.m. So here was, uh, I think we'll start on, on Friday the 18th of June, and we said we wanted it to start at 3 p.m. And now we could tell it to recur every, week, every Friday at that time. And now, and please, I have a hard time remembering to do this myself, I'm going to click Save and Close. Then if I go ahead and pull up my Outlook, notice I do have these, these three test meetings. And if I look at subsequent weeks, I'm here I'm scrolling through different weeks of the month of June, and I'm into July. And you can see they all have the same test meeting. They all have the, uh, it may be a little hard to see here, um, they all have the same Zoom link and they all have the same password. And so we've accomplished our goal. I believe you can do the same thing with Google Calendar. So this is one example of a way to sort of work around Zoom scheduling limitations. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.